back on THC with Big Nez, Nikki Smoke, Stephen Epstein. Hey there. Yeah. Hi. Say hi, Big Nez. What's up, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about weed, and we're also talking about uh, Quiet Desperation coming to My TV New England. Thank we, you. we got a big star, Big Nez, here that's mm-hmm. on the show. A big star. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was the regular dude. I'm man. calling you my big star. All right. That's right. All right. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Just... Like, it's not like you're trying to be some big star. I think uh, he is a big you star. You are my big star, man. Thanks, I, man. Like oh, my brother. I I, like, yeah. Seriously. I, you eat a lot of food, I, Mike Ken. I've watched you. You eat a I'm lot of eater. food. Yeah. You're a garbage disposal. Remember that time those pizzas down, downstairs? Oh, we yeah. got medicated, didn't we? Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Sorry. I digressed. But that's all right. What's this show about? Because I know nothing about it except the name Quiet Desperation and that you're in it. Uh, yeah, Quiet Desperation is uh, Robbie Rapatillo's brainchild. Of uh, it has a, a lot of comedians and musicians in it. And the, the, go ahead. I'm a, when you say Robbie's name, I mean this is it's, a, it's, it's a, an hour of insanity or a half hour of insanity. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, seven to ten minutes of beautiful insanity. And now turn it into a half hour. Yeah, now it's a half hour. All right. With commercials on cable television all over New England. That's a big thing. It's uh, to be able to... The whole premise of the show is basically the guys who stay behind. The artists that don't go to New York and L.A. to try to strike it rich. Mm. No one in Boston gets covered on all the major television and media unless you've already made it in L.A. or New York. And so it's like about the... Right? Isn't that basically what the show is? And then actually seeing a change. You you make it yourself. That's what I see the show going. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, as well, it just shows the lives of everyone struggling and trying to get through their day to get to where they want to be. The real, the sex, the drugs, the rock and roll, yeah. the ups and the downs. We find out what Robbie's day job is? I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in the factory, dude. He's the in warehouse. the factory. There's the warehouse. Now, yes. today. I hope that's that's what sex scene. I want to have a sex scene on the show. Yeah. Can we get we a do. big nice sex scene? I thought that was close to one in uh, that I hope it's not a solo. I was not a video. Solo. But, oh, I don't know, but I don't know which part was the, like, there was like different, there was a guy with no shirt on it. People keep talking. About it. it wasn't you. No, no, no. That guy had titties. I'm not saying I don't have titties, but is, yeah, is there a website people can go Quiet to get the dot com. broadcast yes. time? Quietd.com. Yeah. You get. Uh, God, we're gonna right be down. playing some of that tonight. They have uh, some new videos up there. One of them is "Meet the Cast of the Quiet Desperation," and we're gonna play the audio from that. And uh, you also have a Robbie Roach, Robbie Patillo Hello. interview about Quiet Desperation coming out of my TV New England, December 24th at 11 p.m. December 25th, I believe it's at 4 p.m., Christmas Day. You can watch it while you're eating dinner with the in-laws. I mean, it's this is a big event to go on on Christmas, Quiet Desperation, Big Nez. Yeah, like, it's a blessing. Man. What are you going to be doing on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day when this thing goes on? What hopefully hopefully we'll all be together, you know, and uh, see, watch it all together. I mean, that'd be awesome. If we were, if we were all together watching at the same time, that'd be nice. Yeah. Have a Christmas yeah. party. Yeah. Where would, we, yeah. where would we hold it? I don't know. Well, we're not going to go public on that, are we? <laughs> yeah, it might have to be a problem. Not yet. <laughs> yes, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, there might be man. some Chinese restaurants that want to sponsor it. Yeah, we're gonna have the we're gonna, we're gonna have the uh, preview uh, special preview party at the Magic Room. Yes, twenty third. Yeah, Next we'll week. talk about that. Well, tell me, that's uh, Saturday night, October twenty third. Yeah, Magic Room Alston, which is attached right to uh, the Sound Museum. It's right down the street from the model, across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, is there a street address you can actually give? Um, it, what's the street address over there? Does anyone know? <laughs> hey, it's Google. the Sound Museum. Google. North Beacon, actually. She's right. We don't know the number, but it's the big by furniture, donuts. Cortland. By Twin Donuts. By Twin donuts. And we have Nikki Spokes on the, on the phone. Something else, John's 155. point. 155. She's not on the phone. She's sitting I'm right next to you. On the you. phone Hello. in the studio. <laughs> you know, Dex got me ripped before this first show. I was like, oh, I'm just going to relax, get my paperwork done. And Dex had some killers, so... She is in uh, the studio. Moderation, that's, that, moderation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if that's all that happens, bad. That's, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what are we going to talk about next? We're well, for, we missed 420. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh yeah. no. Can we talk about this name? 
There's some people who don't like our name. We already know our that. name. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the, what's we, the name we, of the show? What's again? wrong with THC? THC. And then, and then two hotheads on cannabis. THC. Two hotheads on cannabis. What's who, wrong with that? Who doesn't like it? Because I get hot headed about. Well, some people say yeah, like him it. sometimes. Shouldn't you about be a mellow stoner? Shouldn't you be a mellow stoner? Mellow stoner. Melalona? Yeah, Mellow Stone. I've been standing up for, let's see, 30 years. Yeah. Uh, more than 30 years I've been standing up and signing my name to letters to the editor mm-hmm. saying marijuana prohibition so are you is a mellow, insanity. Are you, are you a Mellow Stoner? Am I a Mellow Stoner? What do you mean a Mellow Stoner? I'm just wondering. Well, I've been known to eat brownies and then fall asleep under a table during a rock show, but... Yeah, <laughs> so that's it, fun. But, but, but at other times, are you a, a more... Do, do you just... You know, mellow is doing nothing, in my opinion. Uh, no, I'm usually... I wouldn't call Stephen Epstein mellow. Uh, Would you call him mellow, uh, Nikki? I'm usually, you Absolutely know... Absolutely not. These are the two hottest heads in cannabis reform <laughs> in Massachusetts. So it is what it is, it right? Is and like, is. we didn't even pick it. Someone else picked it. Well, Kamalita picked it. Well, you actually. know, the studio... I mean, actually, the producer lady. I'm supposed to say that. The producer lady picked He's it. He's on the phone? And, oh, Arby's we on the phone. We have a caller? Rob Patillo is on the phone. Hello? Oh, wait. Hello. Someone else is on the phone. Who's on the phone? And there's a few people on the phone. I'll be quiet if somebody else wants to go first. Robbie. No, it's a girl. This is a female. Who is phone. this? Who is this? This is Mama Mojo. Hello. Oh, wow. Hey, Mama Mojo. How so, are you? Good. You're listening in. And uh, what do you think so far? You have any? Well, any? I like the name. I approve of the name. There's nothing wrong with THC. It's actually good for you. Um, I think you could be mellow and a hothead at the same time. Well, I think that's what we are. Like we, we could smile. I think you. I funny. think at this point, it's time for all of us to harsh our mellow a little bit and speak out and get a little hot about the subject because uh, there's some big changes coming. I think you could be hot-headed and do it with uh, focus and direction in the right way you and can achieve be a lot. Clear and assertive yes. and happy and positive yep. because the changes are coming and they're coming fast. And still be friends with people. I mean, that's right. And you could be part of it. Oh yeah, um, showing and up, being hard headed no is showing to, up. No uh, reason to uh, you know hold back now. This is the time to come out and really speak out on this issue. Mojo. Well, uh, Mojo. Mama Mojo, yes, you're, yes. A, you're yes, our sir. first caller so on where our you, first you, show. Do you mind telling us where you're from, Mama Mojo? Where you're listening to us from? Well, I'm calling from Amherst, Massachusetts, yeah. and I'm calling in particular because I got a mailing from. Uh, Epstein Esquire, <laughs> who is my first follower on a brand new blog called the Massachusetts Marijuana Movement Journal. If you type in Mama Mojo, it'll get you there eventually. And uh, the one other thing I wanted to do, besides thanking Steve for all his hard work and everybody else for being mellow hotheads at the same time, um, was to announce an event coming up at UMass. Can I do that? Sure. Well, you know the Green Rainbow gubernatorial candidate, Jill Stein? Yes, we were talking about her earlier. She's going to be speaking gonna vote on for October 28th. That's a Thursday. Say that at again. At 4 o'clock She's at the Student Union Ballroom at UMass Amherst. UMass Amherst. So October Thursday. October 28th. At what time? At 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Awesome. And she'll be followed by a one-man multimedia rock opera that's also cogent to this issue. This is sponsored by the Cannabis Reform Coalition at UMass, and they invited all the candidates, and she was the one gracious enough to promptly accept and come to speak. Well, as Mike was saying earlier, if you don't like Charlie Baker, and you don't like Tim Cahill, and you don't like the current governor, uh, a vote for yeah, Jill Stein. Yeah, check out the Green Rainbow Platform and check out Jill Stein. She's well, real we're not going to ask. Not yeah, we're not gonna let's, 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 let's ask around. Uh, you don't, if you don't want to answer, you don't have to. Who right. are you voting for, first of all? Well, I'm going to be voting for Jill. And why? Absolutely. Why, give me one word answer why, or two words. Um, well, she represents me more than anybody else who's running on, on the ticket. All right. And Steve Epstein, who are you going to vote for? 
just dying, but right. it's more more right. a vote for legalizing marijuana than it is for yeah. the Green Rainbow Party. And the person, I like her as a person. Stein's too. A very nice and person. she's a quality individual. She's very intelligent. She, she's she fucking a doctor, adds a lot and to so the she can debate. speak with authority yeah. about the benefits of changing this law. And, well, that's uh, why I'm going to be voting yeah. for her, but yep. I'm not necessarily voting for her for every for issue. Any other uh, any other reason? If, for well, example, Charlie. Baker, the other, the other if Charlie Baker were platform, on the right, if you have issues with them, you can if actually Charlie, talk to her. She's accessible. She's human. See the hotheads coming out. That, mojo. Mama mojo. mojo. I understand this, but this show is about THC. Yeah. It is not about. Well, it is I'm not, not about. It is not about one payer health care. Oh. It is not about stop, changing the tax stop, code. Stop, Steve, Steve, come. And down. I don't mean to be oh. angry, but you know we are hotheads on Steve, cannabis, Steve. and this show. Is about cannabis. <laughs> it's not about the Green Rainbow Party. I want to thank you for calling. I hope to hear from oh, you in the future. But I believe we have another caller please, on the please. line. Hey, you Mojo. Go right ahead. I'm going to get back to Mojo. Mojo. Over here too, Jill Stein. Okay? This is this is bye the bye. show right here. Bye, Look Mama at, Mojo. Oh, bye, Mama. Big Nas had to take off his headphones. You turn John red is quick. You're not Steve. You can't do that. You're going to get us fired on the first John day. Is, John no, has no, his no, no, no. He sees all your, oh, your volume. All right, we got to talk about Quiet D. This well, is what we're here for, not to scary. have Steve screaming at people. That was good, though. You're, you're screaming at her for nothing, that <laughs> poor girl. She's, She's a grandma, mojo, mama. 